Platypus security system was a total waste of money. I am so taking that back. Thank goodness for all the reliable traps, huh? It's Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Okay, my name is Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Ta-da! Doofenshmirtz Sable Incorporated! Now, Perry the Platypus, you will finally understand my pain. Back in Gimmelstump in the days of my youth, the Doofenshmirtzes were a proud family, but those were lean times for my father, and our beloved lawn gnome was repossessed. Who would protect our Zotzen fruit garden from witchy spells and wood trolls? From a tender age, my father decided that it would be me. While the other children played kick the stomp on and ate dunko berries, I would stand for hours. All through the cold night, as the Spitzen Hound howled, my only companion was the moon. And my neighbor, Kenny. And since my lawn gnome was taken away from me, I will destroy every lawn gnome in the entire Tri-State area! Well, I believe the answers are best expressed in backstory form. When I was a boy, the smell of pork emanating from me was so bad because... Well, the reason's unimportant. It was part of a different emotionally scarring backstory. I'm not getting into it. Regardless, the smell of pork was so bad that no one would come near me. So one day, the carnival came to town and I needed money because of, well, yet another backstory that well, basically my parents disowned me. I was being raised by ocelots. The point is, I had to get a job at the carnival, but the only work was at the dunking booth. And not as the guy who got dunked, though. I, I was what they threw to dunk him, which, which is, again, a whole other backstory. L okay, look at it. Long backstory short. I got a balloon at the carnival. I drew a face on him. I sprayed him with special lifelong lasting spray. I created, and I named him Balloony. He became my best friend in the whole world. Yada, yada, yada. Then one tragic day when I was protecting our garden as a lawn gnome. Wh whatever, you remember that backstory. Balloonie started floating away. I tried to reach out and grab him, but... Have I got finished? And I never saw Balloonie again. He's still out there somewhere. Not to put too fine a point on it, but I put that long-lasting spray on him, so he's still around. <laughs> Time. You see, Perry the Platypus, when I was a young boy, my mother would never let me swim in public pools. No. What? That's it. You know, not every backstory has to have some big, in-depth spiel, Mr. High Expectations. You see, back before I was evil, I was something a little less than evil. I was a bratwurst street vendor. Doofenshmirtz quality bratwurst. What? They had those. I was sure that it was just a matter of time before the public would recognize our superior quality. How do you know when you're really late? When you sell bratwurst? <laughs> <laughs> then and there I swore I would get my revenge. Behold! Doofenshmirtz Family Reunion! Oh, hi, Perry the Platypus. Welcome to the Doofenshmirtz Family Reunion. They're just about to start the dreaded kickball game that my mother organizes every year. The one my brother's team always wins. You see, I'm not very coordinated with my feet, but with my hands... Hey, watch this! See, I hold the cup stacking world record, but does my mother care? And no! You see, Perry the Platypus, throughout my childhood, my mother's love was always inexplicably linked to kickball. You know, I think... I think this is best expressed through song. My mother's 
love was always inexplicably linked to kickball, and my brother was an expert from the start. But I lacked fitness, so when put to the test, I couldn't kick my way right into her. Gentlemen, love handle. Oh yeah. He tried playing rugby and soccer and football. He tried kick the can and even martial arts. But even with this dedication, I still got no coordination. He couldn't kick his way right into her heart. Oh, yeah. Good night, Kimmel Stop. How do you like that, Perry the Platypus? Love handle in my flashback. I know people. All my life, I was told, don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. Well, <sighs> I suppose you are wondering why I'm putting myself through all of this. When I was young, I entered a science fair with my very first Inator. I, was, I wasn't very clever with names yet. It was just, you know, Inator. Just as I was about to demonstrate my invention to the judges, a kid with a baking soda volcano stole the show! The next year, I tried again with my even bigger Anator, and again, my thunder was stolen by a baking soda volcano! I've had enough of science! I decided to devote my life to poetry instead. The movies are gray, the TV is black, the horses are running. Please bring me some food. Yet, curiously, I still lost to a baking soda volcano. I will destroy every lawn gnome in the entire Tri-State area. Behold the Destructinator. And now, Perry the Platypus, to activate my creation. No. no.